Israel has rejected accusations of genocide and criticized the case against it during another day of hearings in the International Court of Justice. South Africa is asking the court to order a halt to the military offensive in Rafah. We're, for more, we are joined by Juliet McIntyre, who is a lecturer in law at the University of South Australia, or UniSA. Juliet, thank you so much for joining Weekend Breakfast. Good morning. So Israel wants this uh, thrown out. Is, uh, is, there, is that any real surprise? Look, it's not. Um, yesterday we heard a very similar line of argument from Israel that we heard back in the original hearings in January, which is essentially that Israel is engaged in a war of self-defence against Hamas uh, and that responsibility for the suffering of Palestinians really lies with Hamas and not with Israel. Mm. Uh, South Africa presented its case yesterday, as you were mentioning, saying Palestinians have nowhere safe to flee in Gaza if this military offensive in and around Rafah continues. Uh, what was Israel's response to that? Yeah, so uh, Israel has said uh, that um, there are safe areas for Palestinians to flee to, but they didn't really address in detail the submissions made by South Africa to the extent that one of the judges actually requested Israel to provide some detail about where Palestinians in Rafah would be able to go uh, were the uh, orders not to be made. Mm. Uh, this is obviously something that's happening in, in real life as we speak. Uh, do we know when the court could make a ruling? It certainly has prioritised this hearing. Yes, it has. The court is going to treat this with the utmost urgency. Uh, it was less than a week between the request being made and the hearings happening. So I expect that there will be an order made sometime within the next week or two. And Julia, just lastly, uh, what uh, are the possible orders that the court could actually make in this circumstance? And just for our audience, is it likely, do you think, to have any real effect on the ground in Gaza? So, so far the court has ordered Israel to ensure that humanitarian aid can get into Gaza. And Israel says that it has in fact been doing that. South Africa, of course, uh, argues that it hasn't done that, uh, or at least hasn't done that sufficiently. This time around, South Africa is seeking a full ceasefire order, and that's really the, the pinnacle part of this request. Um, the court has the power to order that ceasefire, although it's been hesitant to do so in the past. I think we may well see the court be convinced uh, after the situation in Gaza has just continued to deteriorate. This order will be binding on Israel, but um, this court, like all courts, doesn't have its own police force. So if Israel chooses not to comply, we need to look to the political arms of the United Nations, such as the UN Security Council, for enforcement of those orders. OK. And uh, the court has been hearing, I think this is the fourth time South Africa has gone back to the court. On the broader case that South Africa has uh, brought against Israel, how many years are we talking for a ruling on that? The average uh, for a case at the ICJ is uh, a couple of years. There's usually a round of arguments about jurisdiction, even before we get to the merits. So in terms of the ultimate question, which is whether Israel has committed genocide against the Palestinian people in Gaza, it's a good few years away yet before we'll know the answer to that.